Hey everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how you can use JSoup to take stuff from the internet and you can scrape any website that you want to and have that information, picture or anything uh, that the website has onto your program in Android Studio. So it's really simple and let's just get started on the video. Right now I have empty activity which includes like uh, just a dot xml and a main activity dot java so i've added the text which is this onto uh, them on create so now I'll, i'm gonna take uh, this information from the google search like the first description and i'll add that onto i'll add that onto the text here so yes that is the plan and um, the first thing that we need to do is add jsoup so i'm gonna go over to my build cradle model app and i'm gonna implement jsoup but i'm just gonna uh, to be sure with the version number and everything and you can get that from github if you like google search jsoup and go over to the download page um, you're gonna find you're gonna find the implementation so I will copy this and paste it with the rest of the implementations and then it will ask me to sync and I'm gonna sync now this will like add the whole JSOAP libraries and everything with your project so you can use the JSOAP uh, elements alright so it was done and now I can like start using JSOAP but because JSOAP can't be used directly uh, it has to be used in a, a synchronous task so meaning it it has to be in the background so for that I'm gonna add a basic uh, async task code so I'm gonna copy this this is like same for uh, like every time so I'm not, I'm not gonna type the whole thing alright so the name of this class is description web script we'll basically work with the domain background so our jsup code will be here so let's just get started with that the first thing that we'll do is type in org dot dot jsup dot node and document and then we'll name the document and this will be equal to null this is like a start to like initialize the whole thing so now we have a document which is a jsoup document and we'll use this later then we'll add the url with the document so i'll type in document equals to jsoup uh, dot connect and in here we're gonna type in the URL so it's gonna be this and um, <coughs> this is gonna be very uh, specific to the website that you're trying to uh, phrase so uh, it can be just google.com or google.com slash search or something so in my case it's this and uh, so sorry this loads up and I can take this information and so I'm gonna copy this at this And now I'm going to type in dot get. Alright, so uh, it might ask you to uh, use try and catch. So we're going to do that. And uh, the errors will go away. Alright, so now we're going to choose a specific element from this uh, URL, like from this web page uh, that we will uh, select and then uh, use. So we're going to create an element. First, let's type in org.jsoup.select and then elements and now we're going to type in the name of the elements we can and that will be equal to document dot uh, there are tons of ways through which we can select a specific element from the web page we can uh, uh, take the information uh, 
from the name of the class that it's that it's in we can um, there are like so many options it will definitely depend on the web page that you're dealing with so uh, for this case i'm gonna use uh, get elements by class and i'm gonna name the class here so i can find the name of the class by going over to inspect and i can see that this is on under the class of this so i'm gonna copy that and this is gonna be very different for a different website so yeah and now once we have that we need to make sure that it's uh readable or like it can be used as a uh, a string file uh so let me just string uh the description equals to elements the one that we just selected and we're gonna choose a text what this does is that it removes all the uh, let's say all the html stuff it like identifies this all the stuff like the coding stuff and then it only uses the text stuff which is uh, uh, the ones that get displayed on the web page now all this is very uh specific to the code that you are dealing with so yeah you need to really understand how you're gonna uh, phrase your html so that you get the exact information that you want and so now we have this as the string and we can now uh, send this to our text view which is the text so the text equals to the description okay so so this isn't uh, a string file so okay it makes sense so it's gonna be the text dot set text and it's gonna be the description yes now we're done we don't even have to you don't we don't have to use on post execute in this case but uh, you, you might have to I'm, I'm using a sync that's just to avoid errors typing a code to start this so it's description with scrape execute um equals to new yeah so this will uh, run the description web scrape and which will do all this and it will take the information from the google search and uh, set the text uh, uh, from the description yeah so let's see if this works or not we have an emulator here Also, for testing purposes, I sometimes use a more simpler net beans where I don't know where I have to type everything. So basically, it's the same thing that I've done there, and to to like make sure it the code box a lot for like finding the right uh, way to uh, get the specific information. I play around and experiment on net beans, and you can also do the same if you want to. Like I mentioned before, this thing isn't gonna work if uh, there isn't a description like this from a different website if we got something like this then this is a different a class and it's not the same as the one that we saw before so we won't get uh, this description or anything because it's gonna show it, it's probably gonna show nothing because it's not un fi understanding the class it's not finding that or right, so to talk a little more about how to select the specific information from the web page I'm gonna show you guys an example from Getty Images. So here, let's say if you wanted uh, the first picture from the search result, let's say this is the one that you want, you would need the URL to the pic image. So and every web page will have a URL to any image that it has. So let's go with inspect and see what we get. And you, as you can see that there is a class called gallery asset thumb gallery mosaic asset thumb now under this class we have the picture that we were 
seen so this is the link you can if you can get this class and like all this information like this code block you can uh, specifically get this picture as well but a problem that you might have is that uh, there can be multiple uh, classes under the same name like uh, for, for every picture here they use the same class name so um, JC wouldn't be wouldn't be able to understand which class you're talking about it might just uh, bring out all the classes so there might be a problem and there are multiple ways to solve this you can be a little more specific like say that the class has to have this name and it also has to be under dataset dot data slot one or you can also uh, use a few built-in options that jsup has i've done this example uh, basically once you have identified the class that you want to select uh, here i used a different uh, way to do it i used document.select you can use document dot uh, get class by name and you can do that as well once you get that you can further select the a specific class out of all the classes that are out there you we can do that by using dot eq there's also another one that is called uh, dot first but it doesn't always seem to work so you can use uh, dot eq which is basically a number uh, that jsup will use to understand the class that you're talking about so jsup will give this one this two this three this four this five this six because you have the same class name and then when you uh, assign a specific number here like let's say one then it will use uh, the first uh, one the first uh, like class that has the name uh, gallery asset term so yeah that, that is nice so over here what I did was I used uh, pick which is uh, integer that is a random number from 1 to 5 so that every time I run this code I get a random picture from uh, any of the first 5 result, five uh, search results so that I don't get the same picture all the time just to make things a little more interesting obviously you need to add a dot uh, attribute which will be as rc or else you'll not get the uh, url you get the whole thing and then um, you don't want the whole thing you want uh, just the uh, as rc which is uh, the link to the picture so yeah and once you once you get the link to the picture you can do multiple things i used picasso to get uh, like get the link into the background of my app so yeah you can do different things um, so basically uh, jsup will help you get almost any specific information that you want um, you can uh, use all the different tools that it has so yeah and it all depends on the different web page that you're de dealing with here so i can also change this to something else and it'll still work as long as it's a description from another website it's not gonna work all the time though so um, okay let's say let's say it's gonna be sin uh, so weak error and yeah so we get uh, the description for that as well and yeah, it's really nice that uh, you get updated information from the web. It's really useful for a lot of different things. And um, you know, it's, it's a nice uh, thing to know. Also, uh, not all websites allow web scraping and taking stuff from the internet. So you need to know the rights and policies that they have. So that you don't, are not like breaking any r rules or laws. That is basically it. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if this video was helpful and um, subscribe for more Android Studio tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next one.